First and foremost, man, salutes to everybody that came through on the whatnot stream. Uh, uh, made a bunch of sales today. Uh, in all actuality, this is the best sales day. As cra it's crazy because I did a stream early. Everybody told me, oh, don't really do that stream early. You're not going to make a lot of sales. Did amazing. Everybody said, oh, Bazea, do it at night. You're going to get more sales. And not so amazing at night, but still a decent, a decent little, a decent little, uh, selling, right? Combined, uh, today would be the, uh, highest, uh, day so far, thus far, right? Um, so salutes. I definitely got to do an update. I didn't do an update last Friday cause I was in New York and Jersey, but I got to do an update this Friday and keep y'all posted on, uh, my total sales for the people that don't know, I'm doing a sort of like a whatnot challenge where I'm trying to do, I'm trying to make $10,000 off of whatnot in six months or less. If I'm able to accomplish that, I will be doing a giveaway to everybody, or well, I'll be doing a giveaway, and everybody that will be involved in that giveaway will be people that purchased from me via whatnot, okay? So just to put that out there. Um, Remember, mom always believed in you too, player. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. Salutes, man. Mom always believed in me, but uh, I be too don't believe in uh, me making any money off of whatnot and uh, whatnot did. So I want to give whatnot they flowers. But yo, peep this story, right? So I finished the stream and I go to print all the labels and uh, it's giving me a hard time printing the labels. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? When I go to look, it's because I have to... Uh, I have to address one of the sales and uh, what it is, is that somebody is trying to cancel the sale. So they ask him for the sale to get canceled. Um, hold on. There it is. So I actually got it right here, right? It sends me a thing. It says a buyer requested to cancel an order. It says, hi, Zaya. Unfortunately, the buyer, Papa Mir 12, which is the name that I put in the title, Papa Mir 12. Uh, wait, uh, uh, well, it says, unfortunately, the buyer, Papa Mir 12, of your Nike SB RPM backpack, Mango, used, sold for $30, is requesting to cancel the order. He said, uh, he, this is what he says, right? I thought I was bidding on a V-Loan shirt, and it glitched and purchased this instead. Please accept or reject this a request on your listing dashboard. Now, granted, bruh. Uh, do I believe in returns? Yeah, you know, I believe in returns. You know what the problem is, bro? That motherfuckers be playing. Holla! Mr. Williams sent $60. Appreciate it, fam. Shout out to my boy, Mr. Williams, bro. I appreciate you, big dog. Salutes, man. Um, you just got to let me know which bag is it that you wanted. The orange one? Was it the orange one that you was talking about? Uh, worst case scenario, what I'll do is when I'm done with all this and bagging all this, when I go up to bed... I'm going to go in and I'm going to take a picture of all the Nike SB bags I got left and you just pick whichever one you want, all right? And I'll send it to you, all right? Um, so homie right here, Papa Mir 12, uh, requested a, a cancellation of an order. And, you know, this is something that I spoke about with Tony D in the very beginning, you know what I'm saying? I was like, you know what? Listen, I don't want to really play no games. You know, I've seen motherfuckers on the whatnot playing games where they buy shit and then they try to send. Yo, it, it's funny because a lot of sellers actually do this, right? A lot of sellers, they actually go through all the re the, the the cancellation. And you'd be surprised, bro. There's motherfuckers that get, you know, multiple five, ten cancellations in a night. And some of the excuses that people use are crazy. So I told myself, you know what? Fuck that, bro. I'm not issuing no refunds, bro. That's it. I'm not I'm not even going to play like that because I feel like people playing with my time. All right? If you want something, then bid on it. If you don't, keep your motherfucking fingers off the keyboard, bro. With all due respect, we're grown people. Okay? We're grown folks. Let's let's try to start acting like our age. Okay? So I seen that and I rejected it, right? And at first I looked at it and I was like because uh, remember the mango bag. Remember, I told y'all the mango bag is the one that I like the most. You know what I'm saying? I liked it that bag, right? So when it sold, I was like, ah. so when I seen that he requested a, a a refund on the mango, in my mind, I was like, damn, is Mama trying to tell me something? Is she trying to tell me, son, 
keep that mango bag. Right? I, I'm actually thinking that. And I, I'm actually feeling bad for the guy. But then I seen the excuse. I thought I was bidding on a V-Loan shirt. And I'm like, bruh, the only problem with that is that, bruh, you ain't hear me not once on any motherfucking stream mention V-Loan. Not once. <laughs> not once, bruh. Okay? Matter of fact, when I was putting up the bags, when he purchased it, uh, we were going through all the Nike SB bags. Never, not once did I say anything about no V-Loan. Not once was their V-Loan even put up on the screen. Not once. Okay? So in my mind, I was like, you know what? This is one of them people that they be bidding and bidding and bidding and bidding and having fun. And they think it's a game. And then when the shit ends, they want a refund. Right? So that they could go on to do it to the next person and the next person and the next person. So I said, negative. Rejected. Right? So then that allows me to print all the labels. Bang, all the labels go through. Bang, I got all the labels off here to the side. I'm ready to come down and do this, all right? So now really quickly, I want to take you to the WhatNot app. <laughs> oh, man, salutes, man, salutes. All right, let's, let's get it. So I'm in the WhatNot app, and today at 1124 is when the individual started texting through the WhatNot app. He said, bro, what did I even buy? At least send me a pic. How are you going to reject my cancellation? Really, Higa? Do your eyes not motherfucking work, bro? Like, I got to handle with it. You, can you read? 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 One more time for good luck. I'm saying, bro, can you read? You said you've seen it, but can you read? Your eyes work, but can you read? You can't read, papa. <laughs> That's the problem. The problem's not my hat. The problem is you can't read. Can you read? You can't read, boy. Salute, man. I had the bag up on the screen. The title is in there. You know, it's not like I put the bag up and then in the title it says V-Loan. Or it's not like I put up a V-Loan shirt and in the title it says Nike SB bag. But it says Nike SB. And let me tell you something. This is the, this, this one, when this one sold, this one was the official name. One of them Nike SB bags, I didn't put the official name. I just put Nike SB book bag. This guy don't got no excuse. That just says Nike SB RPM backpack mango. Okay, cool. I said, you bought a Nike SB book bag. It was clear as day on screen. The phone was on the item the whole time. He said, bro, I swear to God, my shit glitched. Can you send me, can you at least send me a pic? I said, I don't believe in God. Laugh out loud. And then I put, hold on, right? I'm like, all right, I'll send him a picture of the, the bag. Cool. I'm getting up out of my seat. It, it just so happens that I have him right here on my phone. And this is the phone that I'm going to use to take the pick. I'm going to take the pick right in here, send it to him. Literally, message comes through. Most unprofessional seller I've ever dealt with. Goodness gracious. What? Where? This is what I be talking about, right? The donation came through on my shit earlier today. Said, Zero, you got to smile more. You got to be like this. You got to be like that, right? Look, this is me behaving. And this is the type of, this is how people act when you nice, right? That's why I don't like being nice, right? Look, bro, what did I even buy? At least send me a pic. How are you going to reject my cancellation? I said, you bought a Nike SB book bag. It was clear as day on screen. The phone was on the item the whole time. Bro, I swear to God, my shit glitched. Can you send me a, can you at least send me a pic? I said, I don't believe in God. I don't. You talking about, I swear to God. Well, I'm just giving you the heads up that, bro, you could swear to the fucking heavens all day long. And that has no fucking effect. Maybe if I believed in God, then I would be like, you know what? You know what? You, you swore on God. So you know what? Okay, cool. I believe you. But when you tell me, yo, I swear to God, bro, I even less believe you. Okay, y'all know how I feel about the God thing. And you know what's funny? I was thinking the other day, I was like, yo, it's pretty sad because Kanye going through all this and the person he truly believes in is God, right? He thinks that God is, 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 is doing all this for him. But look at how the devil, because if there's a God, there's a devil. But look at how the devil is just able to just fucking just take the wheel and just shit on everybody. Right now, Kanye's getting shitted on. OK, as as much as that man is praising the Lord himself, the Lord ain't helping him with nothing. OK, salutes.
I said, I don't believe in God. Laugh out loud. Hold on, right? I'm going to give you the picture. Most unprofessional seller I've ever dealt with, goodness gracious. I said, how, Sway? You messed up, and now it's my fault? Plus, you talking about V-Loan, and I don't even sell that. And now I'm the unprofessional one? Laugh out loud. He said, bro, I'm literally so confused, dude. I was watching the same stream all night, drenched in drip, and put a bid on a V-Loan shirt, and somehow... Bought a motherfucking Nike book bag, dude. D-O-O-D, dude. <laughs> I said, mind you, listen to this guy's story, bruh. This guy says he wasn't even in my stream. He's in a whole different stream. He puts a bid in on something on that stream and somehow it purchased it on my stream? <laughs> okay. Let's say that that really happened because you know anything is possible. How the fuck is that my fault? I don't even know you, Hicka. You wasn't even in my life. Wouldn't it be more smarter to contact whatnot and let them know your issue? Yo, I was I was on a stream and I bid it on a V-loan and you guys took my bid and put it on some other fucking dude shit, dude, some other dude shit on a whole different fucking live. I said, so now I'm the one that gets the backlash? You better off hitting up whatnot to ask them about your so-called glitch. He said, send me a pic, you weird motherfucker. <laughs> what? You see? To the person that sent that donation, hey, you gotta be nice and shit. You see? You see what happens when you nice? Send me a pic, you weird motherfucker. Clearly, I'm not getting the money back. So let me see this fucking goofy ass backpack. <laughs> I said, no. I'm going to be the unprofessional weird motherfucker you want me to be. Thanks for your purchase. Now I'm not sending you no fucking pic. Now, you know what? It's going to be a motherfucking surprise when the shit comes to your fucking doorstep. When you open it up, you can see that goofy ass backpack on the, on the, un on the unboxing. All right. I'm not sending you shit. And you know what? I'm happy because the stream don't stay up. So this motherfucker really going to be in for a surprise all the way up. And I'm going to make sure that I don't even show the bag on the stream. I want him to be totally surprised. All right. He said, can't even find a pic of it online. That's when it clicked to me, boy. And you ain't getting a pic from me. OK, you're going to have to wait that whole time. OK, you know why? Because I'm a weird motherfucker. OK. I said, I'll go ahead and ban you as well so we don't run into no more glitches. Boy, I'm going to have a field day with you on YouTube. He said, dude, you're literally insane. Why would I lie about this? I could care less if I'm on YouTube. A whole 1K people going to get a kick out of this, I'm sure. And, you know, for the record, there ain't no motherfucking 1K people in here. And uh, who knows if this will even get 1K uh, views. But I think it's absolutely hilarious. Then I wrote back, I said, I never said you was lying, but that's a whatnot error. You on a whole different stream, bidding on V-Loan, and bam, it purchases my bag? And then you want to get disrespectful about it? I'm not sure who raised you, but you got a lot to learn, young blood. In a way, I'm kind of happy that glitch happened to you now. He said, bro, you could have changed the whole combo by respectfully letting me know that it's a whatnot error that you can't do anything about. No shit. I'm going to be a little mad if I bought some random ass item and a single mother raised me. So don't be talking like that. You're ignorant. I said, no self-accountability. Such a shame. What's that line in that movie? I feel sorry for your mother. Right? What movie is that? <laughs> I wrote it just like that. What's that line in that movie? I feel sorry for your mother. That's the... Uh, wait, it's actually two movies because it's... Uh, what is it? Don't Be a Menace in South Central? Is that the movie? I know the. I know. then they did a parody of it, which was don't, don't drink your juice in South Central while drinking your juice in the hood, some dumb shit like that. I feel sorry for your mother. When the fucking... When they was in the fucking... Uh, 
when they was buying uh, alcohol and, 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 and shit up in the store, the Chinese people, how do you up and buy? How do you up and buy? Right? The motherfucker said some fly shit to the fucking cashier dude. He said, I feel sorry for your mother. <laughs> he said, why would I take accountability for an error? I said, it's your error. He said, right, right. I said, or maybe what not? Guess who it ain't? Me. It ain't my error. Hagger. The fuck? I'm over in my shit doing my motherfucking thing, bro. Okay? The fuck out of here. He said, clearly you weren't raised right living in your mom's basement making four he long or four hour long YouTube videos. Go learn a profession, you loser. Buddy, a side hustle expert. I'm getting a kick out of this. We can argue all night. I said, ha 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 ha. Coming from the guy who was purchasing V-Loan on a whole different stream and bought a fucking Nike SB book bag. And I put a bunch of laughing emojis. He said, shit happens. Clearly, you need that 35. Bad. I said, not as bad as you. That's why you mad. He said, it's all right, bruh. Little donation. Support your cause. I'm a pilot, G, making 300K a year. Ah, oh, been my dear. Yo, bro, why... <laughs> Yo, motherfuckers on the internet be hilarious, bro. Be hilarious, okay? Why is it that I always find myself beefing with motherfuckers that are millionaires? Motherfuckers that, look, this motherfucker making 300K a year. He a pilot. How is it that I always find myself arguing with these people, right? If, ever, if, if what they're saying is true online, why is it that these motherfuckers always run into me? I'm always arguing with the rich motherfucker. I'm always arguing with the person that's making three, four, five times as much money as I do. But it's just like, yo, bruh, how is it that you come across me? He said, I'm trying to buy a gift for a family member. I said, I appreciate the donation. And I was over here really contemplating getting a profession, like he said. Why? I could just capitalize off mistakes like this. He said, but I enjoyed the back and forth nonsense. A $35 mistake. You uh, you about to be balling, my boy. I said, well, I got to feed the wolves and you're on the menu. Off to YouTube I go. He said, save me a spot on the yacht. I cannot wait to watch it along with your 600 other viewers. And unfortunately, Papa Mir 12, okay, the new owner of a uh, Nike SB bag. Uh, salutes to you. Unfortunately, there's only 49 people showing up to hear me talk about you. Okay. Um, unfortunately, I'm sorry. I thought maybe, well, you thought maybe there'd be 600 people and a thousand plus views and all that. And unfortunately, there is not, sir. But what there is, is uh, $35 in my pocket uh, and a, a goofy ass uh, Nike SB uh, book bag on its way to you. Okay. As you should say, right? Should have sent him a picture of your nuts, eh? I thought that for a second, but then I was just like, uh, then he's going to take it and he's going to send it to the to the whatnot. And then, they, you know, I'm going to look crazy. And remember, uh, up at this job, Tony recommended me up at this job. So I don't I don't want to put a bad name on Tony. Right. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to send nobody no dick pics or nothing like that. I would try to be as profesh as possible. Uh, okay, Ziggy and this motherfucker, he said you're supposed to be nice, bruh. Okay, so how would you have handled it? Should I just give him a refund? You know? Ziggy, uh, I, I fired you this morning from, uh, from, from ETC Corporate. Did you clean out your desk? Because you're back. Ziggy, what should I have done? Should I have given him a refund? Send him a dookie pick. <laughs> Yo. Uh, Fernando says should have sent him a, oh yeah, should have sent another pick of your nuts. Uh, Chris G said drenched in drip is some young suburban white boy ish. I believe that that's the name of the stream that he said he was in. But uh, mind you, listen, I'm thinking this motherfucker's in my stream and he fucked up and didn't read or bro, this man trying to tell me he in a whole different stream. He in a whole different stream. He in a whole different stream. And somehow, some way it purchased it in my stream. You know what's going to end up happening? I already know this. He's probably sharing a whatnot account. He's probably sharing a whatnot account or he's on a whatnot account that belongs to somebody else. It has to be, bro. It has to be. Because that doesn't even make sense. Imagine that type of glitch. You in my shit 
and then you go to bid on my shit, but you end up buying something some random motherfucking stream. Ziggy said, what happened to you? You changed after you were sick. Nah, you probably, you didn't know me before I was sick. That's the thing. I've always been a dickhead. Before I was sick and even after I was sick. You just don't know me like that. Shout out to 636. I would take a huge shit in it and send it to him. Then message him and tell him I sent it with a nice little surprise as well. Nah, I don't want to be unprofessional. I, there's already motherfuckers saying I'm unprofessional. That's fine. But I don't want to, I don't want to egg it on. I'm not going to be disrespectful directly to them. Believe you me, I would love to take a shit right now, put it in like a, a Ziploc and put it in the book bag. <laughs> nah, I ain't going to do that though, man. He's going to get his, he going to get his, he going to get what he paid for. Okay. Uh, Ziggy looking awful thirsty. You ready for a water break? Uh, all right, shout to Ziggy. I actually reached out and told ETC that I hope he gets better. You did. What does that mean, though? Huh? What does that mean? Did you do it at the? Did you do it out of the kindness of your heart, or did you do it so that later on you could be able to say, Josea, you know, I reached out and I said, I don't get it. You know. It's not like I'm calling you out your fucking name. It's not like I'm I'm blocking you. It's not like I'm kicking you out. I gave you a water break earlier today. You was just talking crazy. You wanted me to, you know, to you wanted me to. Already, I'm trying to offer shit at the lowest possible price that I could offer it, so that I could let it go. You wanted me to give an additional twenty five percent off and give a free item, and I just told you, whoa, Papa, you know, whatever business moves you're trying to make. You know, do that shit with your own business. Unfortunately, I can't I can't adopt your business methods. Right. That's all it was. So now. He's insane these days. All right. Well, you know, I guess it is what it is, man. Ziggy, I appreciate you uh, uh, hoping uh, wishing me well out of the hospital. Um, and I guess, you know, this is where we just part ways. You know what I'm saying? Just you stay on your side. I stay on mine. How about that? You know? I didn't know I had to kiss your ass just because you uh, you you wished me well. Is that what you were expecting? I'm supposed to kiss your ass or something like that? I don't get it, man. Menace to Society was the name of the movie, exactly. Uh, let me see, man. I'm just trying to catch up. What you say about my mama? Well, I'm sorry for what's to come, bro. Ain't nothing coming, bro. You know, if that's a threat, it's an empty threat. You're not going to do nothing and nobody you associated with going to do shit to me. Shout out to Chris G. Uh, Zaya needs to get his hood movie watch time up. I do. I'm trying to catch up, man. I wish you good help. Help you to the community. And this is what I get. What did you exactly help me to the community? What What do you think it is that you did? What did, what did you do exactly? I, I'm not sure what you did. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking a real question. Uh... I never seen a pilot drenched in drip. <laughs> Yo. Oh man, it's hilarious. If he a pilot, I'm an NBA player on 2K. 300K buying V loan on a fucking app. Get the fuck out of here. Holla! Let's get it. Simon Belmont sent three dollars for the spirit of Halloween. Monster, you don't belong in this world. What is a man? A miserable pile of secrets. But enough talk. Have at you. Let's get it.